Hi everyone, welcome to my Autodesk screencast. My name is Zan Ta and I work for Repo Products in Smyrna, Georgia. I am an Autodesk certified instructor and hold many certifications in multiple Autodesk products for the AEC industry. I hope you enjoy my screencast. If you'd like to see more of my screencasts, please search for VAR 2015, that's V-A-R 2015, or my name. Please don't forget to give me a thumbs up after you watch it. In today's screencast, we'll be looking at Revit 2016 from a BIM manager's perspective, specifically the additional settings command within the Manage tab of the ribbon. Here I am in Revit in a standard architectural default file, Manage tab of the ribbon, Settings panel, Additional Settings. When you click this, there are a whole bunch of um, aspects of Revit that you need to look at and focus on, especially if you're a BIM manager. If I click Fill Patterns, I can see all the fill patterns that are in the current Revit project, whether it be drafting or 3D model patterns. And you can create new ones, edit, delete, or duplicate them. If I go to the material assets, it'll open up the asset editor. And we can go ahead and click the asset browser and take a look at all the different assets that are available in the library to work with. And you could double click any one that you want to work with them. We have the Analyze Display Styles that allows us to set the settings, the color, and the legend for different display styles that we want to create. We have Sheet Issue Revisions that allows us to get to this, this location and add uh, additional revisions available. I, I did do a separate screencast on revisions, so you can look that up and watch that one. We have line styles, so it lists all the different line styles that are currently in this project that you can work with, modify, or create additional. Okay. You have line weights, so here it describes what the lines will actually print out in, in actual physical size based upon the line weight, 1 through 16, the higher the number, the fatter the line weight, and the particular scale that that viewport is set for. This applies to model lines, perspective lines, and annotation line weights. We have line patterns. Again, these are all the patterns that are in the particular current Revit project. And you can edit, new, delete, or rename any one of those. Halftone and underlay, you can set uh, as a weight, as a pattern, and halftone settings as well. You have sun settings. And this can specify things like the azimuth, the altitude, or lighting, preset ones for sunlight from top, left, right, still, still single, and multi-day solar studies. And I actually have a different screencast on solar studies. You have callout tags that describe what the callout tag is, the family, and what type it's being used, and what the actual 2D detail graphic is that's being used, and the corner radius. And you can adjust this. Elevation tags, same thing. Okay. You also have section tags, same thing, same philosophy. Arrowheads, a list of different arrow styles that you have to work with and their property information. Temporary dimensions, what are they looking at? What are they dimensioning to and from? And things, and also openings as well, and doors and windows. Detail level, okay, so you have different levels of scale for the coarse, medium, and fine that you can adjust if you need to. And then lastly, assembly code. It goes back to a text file that it's looking at, and you can set it as being absolute relative or at that particular library location. And that's it. Those are the commands within the additional settings command of the Revit 2016 interface. Thanks for watching my screencast, and please don't forget to give me a thumbs up.